you ever wonder what all the numbers and letters in the side of your tire mean? Stay tuned and we'll tell you. Roll the intro. Okay, so today we're going to cover uh, tires. We did a little bit last uh, week on tires in the last episode, uh, but winter tires and summer tires and all seasons, kind of the difference of those three. Uh, we'll get Phoebe to drop a link somewhere over my head to let you guys uh, click on that if you haven't seen it. Um, so what we're going to do today is kind of focus on the actual tire itself and let you guys know what all those letters and numbers in the side of the tire mean. So it'll help you if you're trying to purchase some tires, uh, how to pick the right tire for your car. Um, so we'll go ahead and start off. Obviously, you get on here and you can see it. This is a Firestone tire. And if you look underneath, you'll see this number here, which is your 235-50R19. So this is the size of the tire. So your 235 is how wide your tire is in millimeters. Uh, so it's 235 millimeters wide across the, uh, across the tread. And then you got this 50, which is the aspect ratio. So that means that 50% of that width is the total height of the tire. Um, the next one here is your R, and the R stands for radial tire, which is the construction of the tire. So this is a radi radial tire. Uh, you can also get uh, belted or bias fly tires. They don't really apply these days on any passenger cars or trucks, so we won't delve into that too far, but that's what that R stands for. Uh, the 19 means the uh, dimension of the rim or the dimension uh, uh, of the tire as far as uh, inches in diameter. So that's what size tire uh, this is would go in a 19 inch rim for your car. When you move a little farther here, you'll see there's a 99H. Your first number here is your uh, load rating. So that'll tell you uh, there's a chart you can go to online. We'll Are you almost done? I got work to do here. I'm almost done. Just give me a minute, okay? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. So if you look at the 99, that's going to be your load rating. So there's a chart. I'll get Phoebe to throw that up on, uh, on the screen there so you'll be able to see. You can find it online if you Google it, uh, tire charts for speed or for load rating. And the, so that'll correspond to how much weight that this tire can take. So obviously you'll have to take the, what your all four tires can take, add them together, and that would be the amount that your vehicle can handle for gross vehicle weight. So um, that would kind of play into a factor if you're someone that uh, put a set of you know passenger tires on your on your truck but you haul a, a trailer or a fifth wheel camper uh, and you're overloading your tires of course you don't want to do that so you, that's that's what you want to make sure that you're getting the right tire for weight the next uh, letter here the H that stands for the speed rating so same thing we'll get Phoebe to throw up a picture there um, you can check and see what your speed rating is so if you're someone who uh, you know if you're into performance driving uh, or you're tra you know, taking your car to track events or your drag race or whatever, you might want a higher speed rating, like a Y or a Z rated tire, and that just adds to stability uh, for high speed. So um, we just move along here a little further, rotate the tire. You can see here you've got tread wear, traction, and temperature. And each one of those come with your tread wear comes with a number. The higher the number, the longer the tread pattern will last. Uh, why they didn't, you know, make it uh, uh, 100 was 100,000 kilometers or 50, they don't. So this 520 doesn't mean 520,000 or even 52,000. This same thing would correspond to a chart that would tell you how many uh, kilometers that tire would last. Now, of course, um, the weight of your vehicle, what kind of driving you're doing, where you're driving, you, will all play a factor into, into that, just the same as fuel miles does, just kind of an estimate or a calculation. So the higher the number when you're buying tires, you bet a better quality tire, it's gonna last you longer. And then you got your traction, your temperature. Both of those are going to be in letters, uh, A, B, and C. You can have uh, two A's and uh, on there as well. And that's basically just telling you that this tire here, traction is uh, really good traction in, uh, uh, in warm weather. And you've also got your temperature here is a B, meaning um, it's kind of a middle of the grade tire. Flexibility stays pretty decent for colder weather and for warmer weather. And that's why this is an all season tire. So if we roll around here a little further, you can see you got your DOT number here um this isn't really too important i guess as far as what you'll need to know most of the time you have tires will uh, either weather crack or be worn out long before you ever come you know have to worry about this but just for your knowledge this is the date for your tire so this this number here this four digit number this means that it's the 27th week of 2019 that this tire was built uh, which ends up being i think july 1st to july 2nd is when this tire was built in 2019 so just kind of a build date on the tire uh, 
The rest of the stuff here you'll see on most tires, you'll also have a, uh, tell you what you can inflate to in cold, uh, cold PSI for maximum um, um, uh, inflation of your tire. Uh, the best thing to do for your tire is to check the inside of your door. And I'll get Phoebe to throw a picture of it up. Most cars have the same, uh, same picture, same little sticker or decal that's inside of the door jam. It'll tell you what size tire you need for your car. It'll also tell you um, how much inflation you should run on the tire as well because some vehicles have obviously different front and rear. Um, the only thing this tire doesn't have on it uh, that a lot, of, a lot do is ahead of these numbers here for your size. Um, sometimes you'll see a P, uh, which means passenger. Uh, you'll see some that'll say LT, which is for light truck. So um, if you're uh, having a half ton truck or a three quarter ton truck and you're hauling a heavy load, a lot of trailer, camper, stuff like that, you wanna make sure you put on a, a LT tire, usually a thicker ply tire, thicker wall. It's either a 10 ply or sometimes even a 12 ply. So you just wanna be careful of that. And you also see a, a T as well, which is a trailer tire. Um, you'll see C for commercial as well. So just a few things there, but for vehicles, it's gonna be the, either the P or the LT. So that's pretty much it for tires. Best thing to do is uh, check with the person that's in, gonna sell you your tires. You want a true professional to tell you, uh, you know, what tires should be in your car. Um, the reason why I do that is the most important. Uh, you told safety. me you're gonna be 10 minutes at one, 10 to one. It's 10 after one. I got work to do. I know, okay, I'm almost done. Right. Okay. Just, just chill out and relax, okay? Just relax. <laughs> Sorry again, folks. So, um, yeah, you definitely want to check with whoever's selling your tires to give you the best, uh, you know, give you the best advice on your tires. Um, that's the most important safety feature on your car. It's actually the only part of the car that actually touches the road. So, uh, it's real important to make sure uh, you know all that. But at least you're a little educated now. Uh, you can know uh, at least what those numbers mean inside of your tire. Uh, if you have to fill your air up with tire, you know, your tire up with air, sorry, you can go and check your door. And at the very least, if you don't have one, you can find at least the maximum pressure of your tire here. So hope this video has been helpful. We better move it along here. Jeremy's in a rush. Uh, we don't want to hold him up anymore. And uh, any comments or questions, just drop them in the link down below. And uh, we look forward to seeing you. We'll get some more content out for you. Thanks.